Well, obviously I've got the flywheel separated now. I haven't looked at the state of the uh, big end yet. I'm concentrating on the time inside flywheel and its main shaft. And the main shaft is riveted in to the flywheel, as was the way with lots of things years ago. And the rivets had all become slightly stretched and worked loose. And the shaft was able to sort of move around slightly and wiggle inside the flywheel. So I appreciate that it's probably fretted and worn a little bit um, in the boss of the flywheel. But I've got the rivets, I've re-riveted them. And um, I've got the flywheel running pretty true to the main shaft. So I'm happy with that. And what I intend to do is um, heat up and clean out probably use clutch and brake cleaning solvent the area around the main shaft in the flywheel boss where there's just a slight sort of clearance and then what I intend to do is use a sort of bearing fitting compound in there that will set hard and uh, that should take care of that but it is actually holding true and running true on the rivets at the moment as we'll see flywheel is running true to the main shaft so I'm very happy with that we've got it all lined up and centered nicely so like I say I'm gonna add after cleaning the components thoroughly I'm gonna put a liquid bearing compound in there just to sort of take up any slight wear that will have occurred perhaps in the flywheel boss or on the main shaft itself and that will lock it in place and I would think that uh, with that done this flywheel will be good to go again and it will be able to rejoin the drive side flywheel once I'm happy that I've got a decent big end so a um, little bit of progress there already and I'm quite happy with uh, what can be done with this